Before yesterday's state Supreme Court ruling, several legal professionals that I spoke with told me they would have been surprised if this decision had gone against the governor. A decision against him, they say, would have set a precedent on the use of emergency powers by this governor and any governor in the future. Last night, I spoke with former federal judge Lawrence Stengel, and he told me that in their ruling, the state Supreme Court justices simply followed the state constitution. Uh, the Pennsylvania the Constitution requires that any concurrent action or resolution of uh, the legislature uh, be presented to the governor for his signature, and because they didn't do that, uh, the uh, uh, Supreme Court ruled that it has no legal effect. In its ruling, the state Supreme Court indicated that the General Assembly would have had to have changed the state's emergency management services code to rescind the governor's emergency declaration, and they simply did not do that. This is not the end of legal battles, though, between Governor Wolf and the GOP. Right now, there's a lawsuit pending. The Republicans are suing to gain access to documents related to the state's business waiver program. That is still ongoing. I'm Brian Roach, WGIL News 8.